the donkey's young. She's never been away from her mom. She's never seen the world or she's not used to hard work. However, she is at the age where she can work, where she can carry heavy loads and where she can be productive for someone. Ah, but she's got a wild, stubborn streak in her. Uh, if anyone were, were to mess with her or put something on her back, she'd kick them and she would express her great displeasure at them. One day, two men were talking about her. They simply walked up to her and took her from her place of comfort, from her place of security. Some of those close by said to these strange men, why are you untying that colt? And they simply said, the Lord needs her. Bewildered, they let the colt go without any questions. The two men walked the colt on a short distance to Bethpage. There are people all around this man. He has kind eyes and he has a gentle touch. He comes near the colt. He reassures her that everything will be all right. Then someone puts a coat on her back. Normally, she would resist. But today, she accepts it without hesitation. She feels his weight as he sits on her. The people are smiling. They're, they're jumping and they're dancing with great enthusiasm. And then they start praising the God of their fathers. Some of them run to the trees and they rip off palm branches and they put it in the path that the donkey is walking as she heads towards the city of Jerusalem. Other people, they start taking off their cloaks and they lay them down on the dirty, dusty road. The donkey knows that she is in the presence of greatness. As she slowly plods into the city, her big ears hear the sounds of praise. Praise is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Someone in the joyous crowd sings. Another says, peace in heaven and glory to the highest. Others simply call out the word, Hosanna, Hosanna. The donkey notices, though, that not everyone in the crowd is filled with joy. Not everyone is singing the praises of the master on her back. There are some she would have bucked off and kicked if they randomly sat on her. She knows she would have been whipped for it, but it would have felt good to express her displeasure. She hears their complaint. Teacher, rebuke! Your disciples. They wanted Jesus to rebuke the people. They want the man sitting on the back to tell the crowd to be quiet. However, not even the miracle worker could do that to the crowd. He says, I tell you, if I tell them to be quiet, even the stones will cry out. The donkey at that moment, ninnies, proving the point. With him on her back, there's hope, joy. And celebration. After the donkey is carried, after the donkey carried Jesus into Jerusalem, she returned to where she was united. She returned, but she was different. She celebrated the arrival of the Lord Jesus. She was used by the Lord. Today, today we uniquely get to celebrate the entrance of Jesus going into Jerusalem. I want you to think of two kinds of people. I want you to think of those who are stubborn, those who are unwilling to be used by Jesus. And then there are some who are willing to be used by him, even though they have a reputation of being stubborn. So today, will you allow the master to take you out of the comfort zone? To take you out of where you feel most comfortable? and put you in an uncomfortable place so that he can receive the glory and honor that he is due? Or will you continue to hold on to your fixed ways? Will you be secure in your knowledge, but joyless in its application? Today, I want to challenge you to use joy. I want to challenge you to choose to celebrate. I want to challenge you to be led by another so that Jesus can receive the glory. All right, it's Palm Sunday. If you want to read more about these particular instances, go to Matthew chapter 21, Mark chapter 11, Luke chapter 19, verses 29 through 40. And you can hear and you can unpack those stories yourself. Have a great Palm Sunday celebrating and choosing to be used by the Master. Good day.